Hello everyone and welcome to Edutab. In this video, I am going to talk about the EPFO Assistant Provident Fund Commission examination which is conducted by Union Public Service Commission. Many of us aspirants are not clear about the eligibility criteria that is required for the candidates for this examination. We might also not be sure about what is the ed essential educational qualification that we must have in order to be selected to the post of APFC. And is there any desirable qualification that is preferred over the essential qualification? Then is there any age limit? What is the upper age limit till uh, what time can we appear or we can apply for this examination? All these questions, they need very crisp and accurate answers for all the serious candidates who have decided to invest their own time, invest their own efforts for this examination. So let us answer all these questions very fast and very quickly. First of all, let us talk about the eligibility criteria. Uh, first criteria that comes is of citizenship. Obviously, you have to be a citizen of India. And in addition to this, if you are a subject of Nepal or Bhutan, or you have been a Tibetan refugee or a descendant of Tibetan refugee who came over to India before 1st January 1962, all of these are eligible for this examination. But for the Nepalese, Bhutanese uh, subjects and for the Tibetan refugees, you need to have a certificate of eligibility from the central government that you can get, right? Next is the eligibility criteria where we talk about the age limits. What is the age? What should be the maximum age of the candidate to appear for this examination? So first of all, maximum age is 35 years, which is mentioned by the uh, uh, Union Public Service Commission. But be very, very careful. This age, maximum age limit, it can change in the future notifications. So whenever the notifications for this exam comes, we will update what is the age limit that has been provided in this notification. And in addition to this age, uh, the cutoff date when this age will be determined which will be the last date up till uh, which your age will be considered for this examination that cutoff date is also mentioned in the notification itself right so we will wait for the all the uh, uh, next notifications whenever the not notification comes we will look at the years uh, maximum age and we will also look at the cutoff date till what date will our age be counted for be for this examination right currently the 35 years is the maximum age but we expect there are rumors that in the future notifications this age it might change it might change okay next there is a relaxation in age limit for different uh, categories of candidates for example for sc and st category candidates there is a relaxation of five years so the maximum age limit it goes up to 40 years next three years is for obc category students so uh, the, for them the age limit will be 38 years next age uh, relaxation for five years for ex-servicemen and commissioned officers, so if you have been an ex-serviceman and you have been commissioned in the uh, three armed forces and you have served at least six months in that position, then you can also request for a, a relaxation of five years and go up to 40 years. Next, five additional years for central government and EPFO employees. If you are currently an employee of EPFO or you are uh, serving a regular job under the central government, then you can get an additional five years of age relaxation. So if you belong to SC or ST category and you are a central government employee, you will get an age relaxation of 5 plus 5 that is 10 years, right? If you are OBC category student and if you are uh, also a central government employee, you will get 5 plus 3, 8 years of relaxation. Similarly, if uh, for the physically handicapped candidates, you get 10 additional years of relaxation. In addition to your category relaxation, you will get 10 additional years if you are a physically handicapped uh, aspirant for this examination, right? So and for all the other candidates, candidates who belong to the open category or unreserved category, you will be getting 35 years of the uh, maximum age limit till that age you can apply for this examination. Next comes the educational qualification that you must possess uh, in order to be uh, considered for this particular job of APFC. First of all, you the essential qualification is that essential qualification is the minimum qualification that is required uh, with you in order to appear for this examination and that is a graduation degree from a recognized university or equivalent. So from any recognized university in India, you need to have a graduation degree and that is the minimum qualification. If you have postgraduate or higher qualifications, obviously uh, that is, uh, you know, uh, much uh, required. That is okay. But the essential minimum qualification that is required is the graduation degree. Next, desirable qualifications, if we talk about that, if you have a diploma or if you have a course or if you have a, a co uh, you know, a certificate in company law, in labor laws related to public administration, if you have completed some diploma or some course from a reputed institution, then obviously that will be desirable over and above the essential qualifications. 
so the commission says that in case there are a very large number of applications for the limited number of vacancies and they have to shortlist a number of candidates for the interview then if you are scoring same marks a lot of candidates are scoring very uh, same number of marks in the initial tests then candidates having the desirable qualifications they will be preferred over the candidates who are not possessing the desired qualifications that is company labor law and public administration related courses similarly if you have a higher educational qualifications if you have a doctorate degree if you have a master's degree then obviously that qualification will be preferred over those candidates who only have a graduation right so uh, bear all these information points in your mind before applying for this examination as and when the notification is out you will obviously be reading the notification and if any change is there in the provisions of eligibility in age limits or in the educational qualification in the notifications obviously edutap will be the first to provide you with that right so this is all from my side in this particular video keep on learning keep on growing jai hind and jai bharat